Okay, we are in Baltimore, Maryland. There's Steam Train Sierra. And what's in Baltimore? That's right, we are at the B&O Railroad Museum. And matter of fact, we got here so early, they're not even open yet. But I think they just opened the doors. So. It's significantly warmer than the last time. Yeah, last time we were here was 2017. 2018 spring break and it was like 30 something degrees snow on the ground we took the Amtrak from DC spent the day here froze there's a yard we didn't get to do the yard last time because it was so cold we just went from like this building to the back building over there but I'm gonna go inside take a little bit of video a whole lot of pictures and yeah, see you on the back end. All right, as you come through the doors in the B&O to the big rotunda here at the Roundhouse, look at that. There's a lot of kids running around. I'm trying to be careful not to get them. There's Sarah over there starting to read everything. But this is what it looks like when you come right in through the doors to the Roundhouse. Awesome. Over here is some historical stuff. Wagons, interesting cars, these two steam or there might be three of them. There's a third one over there. These are all replicas. That one says 1832. Well, that says 1831. And you see they still have the vertical bowlers. One of them's a replica. One of them's a replica. Or maybe those two aren't replicas. I'm not talking about the wagons, I'm talking about the trains. Okay, this is an 1848 Newcastle 080. And I gotta be careful because it's Saturday morning and there's a lot of kids running around in here. So I'm trying to just film what I can. Okay, this is one of my favorite trains here. This is an 1851 Wilmarth 222. I believe that's Cumberland Valley Railroad, CVRR. This train was actually damaged during the Civil War when Jeb Stewart did his mad dash run around the Union Army in Pennsylvania. He set fire to one of the roundhouses there and some of the railroads. And this train right here was actually damaged by him and his, his raid through Pennsylvania. And it's an awesome, beautiful little train. And I think it's the last surviving Wilmarth as well. It's really tight in here between the trains. I'm trying to get as best pictures as I can. Let me head to the other side. Okay, same train, I'm just on the other side now. Look at this thing. That's a beauty. And right next to it, Look at this. Look at, look at the whole road down there, actually. And across over there. Look how beautiful these things are. That's not a train. That's a work of art right there. Right next to it is the uh, camel. Camelback. I do not want to be up there. Let me stop and take some pictures of these and I'll label them at the end. Of course, another one of my favorite trains is the Shea they got here. They got all these paintings in front of it and on the cool side too, where all the gears are. Standing in the middle of the roundhouse. Hey, look, Sarah. All the kids finally cleared out. I'm able to do this all the way around. How cool is that? Let's go around one more time. There's the shade. You can see the offset bowl or a giant camel back right there. Some cars. 
I believe that's Clinch Field right there. And this is back where we came in. Okay, the Clinch Field here, you can actually go up into the cab. Or up to the cab. Yeah, you can go in, okay. idea what that thing is right there. And here's a cab of it, and then you can walk across to the next car, but you can also come out here and see the loco a little bit better. Kind of, not really. But you can get right up on it, which is more than you can say about the other ones. It's starting to chug. But we're gonna do a little train ride here, which we didn't get to do before. And we're gonna go over into the, the shop yard. And I gotta get all the stuff out in the outside yard, which we completely missed the time before. All right, thanks guys. Okay, we're over here in the shop area and everything is just packed in so tight that it's really hard to video or get anything. I tried to take pictures the best I could and I'll just put them on the end because there's like three locos right here. A bald one. I think there's two fireless down on the end. And this big old monstrosity. Look at that thing. So, and once again, there's kids running around trying to keep them out of the videos. So just check for the pictures at the end. Okay, just a second. I'm out here in the yard. Not really much to see over here. This is the inside fence from the parking lot right there that we parked. Looks like there's a couple of diesels down there. There's one on the end, the 7402. And uh, I'll try to get pictures of those on the way out. We're just, you know, kind of pressed for time today. So this is the yard. And there's the big roundhouse. I'll be heading back in there in a second. And check for the pics at the end. Thanks, guys.